What's up guys? Welcome to How Much YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you the Disruptor USB Solo Bitcoin Miner. First, what is it? It's a USB Bitcoin Miner that's so easy to set up and you just plug it into any USB port. It does not require a computer, just a USB power source. It has Wi-Fi, so it runs over your Wi-Fi network and you can leave it on all the time. It looks for a Bitcoin with a small chance, like a lottery, to hit big, to hit 3.125 Bitcoin. Every 10 minutes, there is someone in the world getting 3.125 Bitcoins. You are trying to be that person with this USB miner. The chances are very small, but the longer you run it, or the more you have them, the bigger the chance. This is how the back looks like. You can see the Doge guy and the American flag. It's designed and made in the US. It has a fan and the USB, and that's all you need. Everything else is built in. So those are examples of how you can set it up on a USB hub. We sell it as a single unit in a four pack, a six pack, or if you're really, really into it, <laughs> or if you really wanna get a chance of hitting a block, a 12 pack. So the hash rate is 300 giga hashes and it can mine any coin that's the same algorithm as the Bitcoin, like Bitcoin Cash or Bitcoin SV. You just have to pick one. This one is 300 giga hashes. This one will be 1.2 tera hashes. This one will be 1.8 tera hashes and the 12 pack will be 3.6 terahashes. Now, the setup is so simple. Just plug it in. Once you plug it in, you're gonna wait for those lights to flash, and then you're gonna see a new Wi-Fi network on your phone. Or if you have a computer, you can set up on the computer as well. You go in there and look for Bidax, because this is built on the Bidax platform. You click on the Bidax, and it will connect automatically. Then a new page will show up on your phone or your computer after maybe a few seconds to a few minutes on your screen. Let's wait for it to show up. When this show up on your browser, now you can set up your Wi-Fi and your Bitcoin address. You have to change it to your Bitcoin address so you get paid and nobody else. So first, let's go and change the Wi-Fi. Go to the network and change the Wi-Fi SSID to yours. To make it easy, click on the search. It will look for the ones around the area and you can pick the ones that's available. It will only show you two gigahertz Wi-Fi networks. If you don't have one, you can always call your ethernet provider and ask him to add 2G network or a guest 2G Wi-Fi network so you can run the disruptor. So I'm gonna pick one. Mine is artificial intelligence 2G and I'm gonna change the password right here. Click save, click restart, we're done with that. Now, we're gonna to have to look for what IP address this device will get. It will create a new IP address for this device. Let me hop onto my computer, show you how to find out what's the IP address for this unit. All right guys, let's start by just downloading Advanced Sport Scanner, it's free. So just Google Advanced Sport Scanner, click here, Download it, install it. Once you open it, click on scan. This will scan all the devices on your network and find this disruptor specifically. So we can get to the page and change settings if we want to. This is optional. If you set up everything correctly, change your Bitcoin address, change the network address, you don't have to do this, but it's nice to have in case you wanna mine in a pool, get a small amount of rewards every day, or in case you're changing your pool, or if you have multiple disruptors, you can actually control all of them from one disruptor in the swarm system. And I'll show you how it works. Okay guys, I found the IP address for this specific disruptor. I'm getting over 300 giga hashes. It will stabilize at around 300 or more giga hashes after a little while. And you see, you can see here the network looks good. We're now gonna change the pool settings. This is the default pool settings. You wanna change that to yours, okay? So here is mine. I'm just gonna copy paste it. So this is my Bitcoin address. I added a dot and a disruptor text. 
so then I know which device is it and I'm going to add it for both uh, the regular stratum and the fallback stratum. Fallback stratum is in case uh, the first one doesn't work. So I'm also going to use CK pool. I don't want to use public pool in this case. And I'm going to copy paste the port 3333. Three, three, three. So here's my settings. I'm going to hit click save and restart. And literally in seconds it will start hashing. And literally in minutes it will show up. Here we go. It's already changed the settings and it's probably going to start hashing really, really soon and we'll be able to see it on my pool. Here we go. It's already hashing source 500. It always shows a little high and then goes low. This is all the setup guys. This is it. Here is my pool information from CK pool. And of course I have many, many disruptors running. So I have over four terahash of disruptors running. Uh, but yeah, it's working perfectly fine. Just right away. So easy to set up. Temperature looks great, doesn't overheat, really easy, and you can plug it to any USB port as you wish. As long as they have at least 2.1 amps out there. Um, but the requirement is 2.1 amps for the plug for the USB port. If it's below that, you might not be able to get all the way to 300 giga hashes. So it's recommended to use a USB hub. You can use a computer if you want to, but you don't have to. This is on Wi-Fi. A computer doesn't have to be on. So you can use anything, wall plug or anything you want. So to get yours, click the link in the description, simply go to the disruptor, choose if you want a single unit, a 4x combo, if you want a 6x combo or a 12 or a 12x combo. So just choose the one you want. If you buy the combos, you get the free hub. So it's a little cheaper that way. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Here it is. It's all set up. This is the single unit all ready to go. You can see the flashing lights. In the future, you'll be able to adjust the lights as well. This is the hub that you can buy separately, but you can plug it into any USB port that you want. And again, this is how the four port looks like. This is the four port, the six port, and the 12 port. All depends on which one you want. All available from BitcoinMerch.com.